Hello everyone, this is just a quick guide on setting up the iRacing Extra Properties plugin and the Action A and B to scroll through the displays on Meekster's iRacing SimHub dashboard pack. So once you've downloaded the pack you and unzipped it, you will find this. So you will need to install the Sim dash templates, NCAP scripts and Roman Rob iRacing Extra Properties DLL file into the SimHub root file. So just copy and paste those three into here. Um, it will ask you to overwrite, might ask you to overwrite any NCALCs and dash templates, then that's yes. That's just doing an update to what I've got. Um, beware with the NCALC scripts, as in my previous video, that if you've already set them up for your button presses, don't update that one. It will then put it in here. It will show as there. Then once you've done that, you go into SimHub. Once that's loaded, go into settings, plugins. So it should show here, iRacing Extra Properties, and just make sure that's on. Then also to uh, set up some controls and events, you will need to go into controls and events. On controls, go new mapping. Select whichever button you wish to use for control action A and B. By typing on the filter, pressing the button. So for example, I've used left control. And then on here, scroll down to action A or B. Then you want to set it for, you can set it for all games if you like, or just iRacing, and you can either set it for a short press or a long press, or you've got all sorts. Then just go OK, and that's it, and do the same for action B. And that's it. Any questions, make sure to ask on the forum. Thank you very much.